we're in the news for quarterbacks this offseason just because of what's going on. So um, there's some news about Kyler Murray that's been kind of going around as of right now. And this is another um, another one from uh, Chris Mortensen of NFL, Mort Report. Um, his sources are pretty reliable. Um, so just, just let me read off this real quick about Kyler Murray. So obviously the playoff loss – um, and, 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 you know, Kyle Murray is not handling this well at all. So here's what it says. It says Kyle Murray is described as self-centered, immature, and a finger pointer and thinks he's been framed as a scapegoat sources tell Chris Mortensen. Okay. Now the odd vibe between the Cardinals and Kyle Murray is indeed alarming. Murray is described as self-centered, immature, finger pointer. Murray is frustrated with franchise and was embarrassed by playoff loss to Rams and thinks he's been framed as the scapegoat. Where is he headed? Despite the uh, acrimony, the Cardinals expect things to calm down. Murray is their QB. Select veterans hope to reach Murray on how to handle adversity better. Coach Cliff Kingsbury also uh, is self-scouting where he could provide better uh, alternatives for QB. So Cardinals are somewhat kind of looking in another direction in case it, everything goes south with Kyler Murray right now. So they're looking at their options at quarterback as well. I mean, this guy literally just asked for a 50 to $55 million extension as of right now. So he already asked for an extension. Now, this is a young player that doesn't know how to handle adversity, as what I could see here. Um, if, if that's the truth, and, you know, and I honestly know we're the Philadelphia Eagles. We know about scapegoats and how Howie Roseman gets away with everything and who's to blame every single season when Howie Roseman is still here. Okay, I understand all of that, but Kyler Murray is young and needs to handle this situation better, okay? You get to a playoff game and you lose and you have to figure out a way to handle it. And these moments you're never going to forget in your career, whether it's losing a playoff game, losing a Super Bowl, it sucks at the end of the day, okay? But Kyler Murray needs to, you know, this is just, uh, he's young and it just needs to grow from it. I don't know if it's going to affect him down the road. I mean, there's teammates actually saying that this is what he's doing and that he's, the, you know, that they're blaming just the quarterback position. Um, it's on everybody. It's not just him. It's everybody. It's the receivers. It's the offensive line. It's it's a lot more than just Kyler Murray losing a playoff game. Okay, depending if he played that bad or he played good, whatever the case may be, it doesn't matter. A loss is a loss for the entire team. So one guy shouldn't get blamed unless he throws like five, six picks. Then you know it's a different story. Okay, um, I don't know what the case may be here, but you know. If he comes to his senses, if he feels like the Cardinals are really giving him a wrong vibe to where he wants to go somewhere else, and literally he needs to step up and just stop being a little baby about it because, you know, you lose, you lose. It is what it is, okay? Get better next year and that's it, all right? So if the front office, from what's reported here, is looking at alternatives for other quarterbacks, if that's the case. This could be another team that's looking for a quarterback, if that's even the case, on top of Steelers, Washington. Seattle is going to need one if they deal Russell Wilson. Um, you know, the Colts and Carson Wentz might be traded or released. The Eagles have been linked to a few, a couple QBs already. I mean, there's going to be a lot of teams that need quarterbacks. Obviously, this isn't the draft for a quarterback, unless you're drafting a backup or somebody that you kind of want to room for a couple years and do that if that's the case but you know I kind of take the example of Cam Newton after losing that Super Bowl against the Broncos ever since that ever since that Super Bowl I think it was Super Bowl 50 whatever it was he hasn't been the same I mean Cam Newton was never the same after that he showboated the whole entire year that he was the best and showboated himself to the Super Bowl and then he lost that game, and he was bitter, and he just couldn't handle it. Um, you know, if you can handle winning games, and, and sh you know, you have to handle both sides of the game, and it sucks, and I understand that. So that's the kind of example I take it into. I think Kyler Murray's just young and just needs to just get over it. I mean, that's just pretty much it. Um, but could be looking for another quarterback, you know, uh, wants a 50 to $55 million extension. I think he still has another couple years left of his contract still. So... We're gonna see what happens here in in uh, Arizona. I'm actually kind of I'm kind of curious to see what goes on with this QB position. And everyone's gonna say it might calm down. And it might it might calm down, but at the same time, like maybe Kyler Murray feels a certain way. Maybe something was said to him that wasn't reported, and maybe they put all the blame on him, and we don't know about it.
You know what I mean? Maybe they put all of it on him. I don't know. But you guys let me know in the comment section below what you guys think about Kyler Murray and just all these accusations. And uh, that could be true. I mean, I, I, I mean, if, if there's teammates saying that, that's not a good thing, that he can't handle the adversity of losing and losing, especially losing a big game. You want to get paid franchise money, but you have to be able to handle these situations. Otherwise, you know, it, it's. You're not you're not going to be able to focus on your craft. You're not going to be able to focus on what you have to do to bring that organization to the top. Um, and that's going to be a problem. So you guys let me know. I'll see you guys later. Shakes what up follows by. Peace out, guys. Peace.